I am headed just down the hill toward Princess Street. I Behind me is Charlotte Square. It's closed for normal purposes. It's open every summer as the book festival. Hopefully they're having that this year. I would love to go, but I'm not sure if they will. Um, but I'm doing this little video now because it'll be really, really loud when I get down there. It's on the corner of Charlotte and Princess Street and uh, it's just buses and cars, just crazy. So I wanted to do this first, but where I'm going is Pret-a-Manger. It is a chain and I would much prefer to give my money to a local place, but um, I do recognize that chains make a lot of food waste too. And I'm really trying to do as much experimentation with the Too Good To Go app as I can. So what they do that's very different is they do breakfast, lunch, and dinner bag. So they offer them at different times of the day. I'm actually getting a dinner bag. Uh, I've had um, a lot of sweets this week, so I'm really hoping. They said they have a lot of hot foods. So I have no idea as normal what I'm going to get, but um, I'm very interested to see what a dinner bag is at Pret-a-Manger. So um, we're gonna give this a try. Where we're going right now is one day I was walking and I thought oh this is the prettiest little park I can't believe it's right here and it's so cute little cobbled um, little sections and flowers and then turns out it's just a car park like it's a parking lot and but I still love it and sometimes I walk through here on my way places but I really have a hard time getting all the way home when I have a bag like this with me because I really want to peek. So I think I'm going to just sit on this stump and see what's in my bag. So I am here sitting on a stump at a cute little car park. Here's the evidence that I have not opened the bag. It's like got a sticker holding it together. So I'm very interested in this. I hope it's like actual food. And it is, there's a list. I'm not gonna look at it, but I think this is great. Okay, it's a sandwich. Let's see what it says. If it tells me what kind. Super classic club. So that's a nice sandwich. I wonder if, the, if it tells me the price on that little sheet. This is, looks like it's got pickles on it. Jambon beurre, stone baked bread. Do -do -do -do. It's got ham and gherkins or pickles. So yeah, that's really interesting. After I get through this, maybe I'll open some like a little more. Ooh, that looks nice. Um, so this was four pounds. It's called a dinner bag. I thought it would be hot food, but the restaurants didn't, it wasn't closed yet. So this is a chicken pesto and rocket flatbread. Rocket is a type of lettuce, uh, but yeah, that chicken pesto looks really good. And there's one more thing. It's a mango banana sunshine bowl. How fun is that? Again, this is something I would never, ever buy, but I'm so interested to try it. It's obviously got a lot of really good looking granola, blueberries. The shavings, at first I thought were coconut, but I think it's a nut, like it's a shaved nut. Um, it's got turmeric in it, banana, oats, pumpkin seeds, raisins. Yeah, so that's really cool. Now let's look at, let's look at this little list. Got the chicken pesto, 
Super 425, the Super Club was 369, the Jambon Burr was 265. That's the that's the littler one. Um, does it even list? The Sunshine Bowl was 299. So then it marked it off. It said minus 958. So yeah, the total would have been. 59, da, da, da. Oh, well, I can't, I can't add that all up right now. But anyway, just the, the chicken pesto, this one was 425. So I paid less than I would have paid just for this. And I got three sandwiches and a sunshine bowl. So I think that's a really great deal. Uh, this could definitely feed two to three people. Like, I mean, depending on your appetites, I guess. So two adults and a child maybe. But yeah, that's a very good deal. Again, that was the dinner well, uh, dinner bag at Fred and Malgin. So yeah, great deal. Mark snagged the chicken pesto flatbread as I thought he would and I ate half of the super club it turns out it was like a chicken salad with the tomatoes and bacon took off the tomatoes because I'm who I am um, so I thought I would try the mango banana sunshine bowl and when I got home I've only done one one uh, to good to go today I'm trying to pace myself I wasn't even planning on doing this one but I looked on there just because that's what I do. And there was one for our friend said, this is our macaron place. And it popped up. So what am I going to do? Not go to Mademoiselle Macaron? So yeah, I'm definitely doing that tomorrow. So I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to add it to this video so you can see Mademoiselle Macaron. But let's taste this. Got some yummy granola. I guess it's mango yogurt. That's good. I taste a lot more banana than I do mango, which to me is a good thing. Oh, actual bananas in it. That's why I'm tasting that. It's bananas with mango yogurt. So it's yummy. Yeah, I like this a lot. I like it. I'm headed to get my macarons. I have been assured that where I'm going is the right place on the app. Well, it's a little windy. On the app, it said that their pop-up store at Waverly Mall is closed. That's like by the train station. And it gave an address for like an industrial park. But I asked my friend, he said this is legit and they're getting macarons too. So check it out. I'll go over here. Maybe it's by the Thai boxing place. Found it. Super excited. Look at this bag. How adorable is that? Okay, that's worth it. This was $3.99 and when I talked to my friend he said they've had them delivered and they seem like they're like a pound 50 or two pounds per macro so it doesn't seem like there's a lot in here but let's see what we get and there's an explanation so I'll be able to figure out what it is it's a whole pretty bag so for three pounds 99 I hate to open it it's so cute okay I'm going to stop this video so I can take a quick picture because this is adorable. Sorry about that. Um, it's just too cute. I need a picture and now I'm going to open it up. And I'm one of those people who like cuts into the chocolate candy things when you can't see the name of them on the package like those big Whitman samplers. Like if it doesn't have a label, I'm not going to eat it. I'm going to cut into it. But there 
is a guide and it's got the ingredients on the back. So, let's see what I've got. got. Oh my gosh. The blue with the center is Earl Grey. Oh, oh my goodness. That's so yummy. I want to eat the whole thing. But I won't. I won't. Okay. Look at that. It's got decoration. I'm not 100% sure what it is. I think it's vanilla. Because vanilla just has the top and the bottom vanilla on the on my cheat sheet. Wow. Wow. I'm just, I'm in heaven. This is so great. Mark's going to get to try them. Every single one will have a bite out of them. Okay. There are three things on this list that have pink. It could be strawberries and cream, raspberry, or rose. It's rose. 100% rose. Wow. I'm not always a huge perfumey rose like food person like Turkish delight the rose flavor is not my favorite um, but that's very like very faint so yeah I could eat that very nice very nice wish I brought tea why didn't I put tea in a thermos okay I gotta take another bite I don't know I still don't know. So it's either strawberry or raspberry, but it's not um, flavored enough for me to tell. I'm <laughs> trying to get to the part of the bag that doesn't have my one bite taken out of it section. Okay, I'm gonna just dump the, dump the ones I've already taken a bite of in there. Now, we're going for this one. Pink and pink. Mmm, wow. That is so good. That's raspberry. Love that. That's delicious. Is this another rose one? I think this must be the strawberries and cream. Oh, it's got like the, the little strawberry in there. Yeah, that's really nice. I'm a little disappointed because I would have loved to have tried the chocolate mint, salted caramel, or Nutella, but there's nothing that matched those colors on here. And then I have two more printed. I, so I think, I think these must be uh, just more of the vanilla. Oh, no, no, no. It's got, it's got, look, 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 look. Oh my goodness. I think that's my favorite. I think that's Nutella. Oh my gosh. I'm, I'm going to eat this on the way home. Sorry, Mark. You don't get one. And this one's got a palm tree. Like, look, it says KC. I don't know what that stands for because there are not a lot of palm trees in Kansas City. So it must mean something to them. Doesn't mean anything to me, but I'm going for it. Wow. I think that's the same as the other printed one, the second printed one, but wow, that's so delicious. I will definitely do this again. This would be amazing to give as a gift because it's $3.99 and it's packaged, cute little bag and a cute little bag. Like I'll use this gift bag a lot for different things. So yeah, I'm so excited that I got to try this and I will do it again. Yay for Mademoiselle Macaron. 
I really enjoyed these last two. Uh, the Pret dinner bag yesterday was a great deal. And then today's macarons, like that was so fun. Like what a fun way to try things. Um, couple things. Uh, I apologize for all the sound noise. I'm still figuring that all out. But after watching the video, I realized you could hear those kids at the playground next to me so loud. I apologize. Um, but also I went over and I talked to my friend in his macaron bag, he got um, a couple of pistachio ones. Didn't get the Earl Grey, I actually scored on that one. Um, but he, one of his said the word 80 printed on it. And I couldn't figure out what that was for. And he said, I think that's how they get their surplus is that um, the food waste they have is like they they make these at that industrial park. That's where they make the macarons. And so like they've made a whole bunch for a party and they've either got some left over or maybe there's, you know, maybe they smudged it or the flavor profile or something wasn't perfect or, you know, whatever it is. That's why, like when I had the one that had the palm tree and the KC, that was probably for like Casey's birthday party or graduation or something. And either, you know, it didn't work out or, you know, they didn't pick up the order, whatever it is, that's why they had their food waste. So that was fun to learn. Um, but before I go, I wanted to show you my bag again because I realize it starts in Paris and then it turns into Edinburgh. You can see the castle and the Balmoral and the Scott Monument. And I just think that's the coolest bag. I'm so excited to have it almost as much as the macarons, but well, well maybe not. Um, those are pretty great. So thanks for tagging along.